Shall we play some D and D? Yes. Lady and gents. Sure. We can at least start and get all the the previously on. <laughs> previously on. Last time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I don't know if that sounded right. I used to be able to do that announcer voice really well. Anyways, welcome everybody to Tales of Fumbles and Fortunes right here on Tales of Gaming Addiction, a channel where we talk about gaming and all that good stuff, and we play some D&D as well. So last time, for the those of you that are just joining us, or skipped last week, if you have, shame on you, go and watch it, uh, the party pretty much cleared up the last of their business here at... Uh, Forgotten Monastery as a title. It's what I have written down. I yeah. didn't write something else, but then I I crossed it into oblivion so much so it went through the page. So, so it was obviously something street. terrible. Um, but the guys went through, they figured out that Lord Cranbrook had indeed visited after Jerothil willingly got possessed by a ghost and found out what the whole rambling of the stars are missing was all about uh, with the monastery having like an observatory tower full of glittering gems and Umbreon was completely missing but you guys managed to restore Viridus the uh, green dragon of nobility so congratulations you can scratch that one off your list hey, hey. You, you feel better you've done some religious good work and yeah, I believe we left you guys at your night's rest and Trim and Durothil had a long discussion about life and what might have been or what could have been. What is yet to pass? No, this isn't the seeing mirror from the Lord of the Rings. Also, we don't have... And all ages. Um, oh, what is that? Her name's got to run out my head. The actor, Galadriel. actress. Of, yeah, I knew the character was called Galadriel, but I couldn't remember the actress's name. It's irritating. Oh, when that she happens. plays fucking what's her face, doesn't she? Guardian. Yeah, she's um, the evil woman you know, with a slight video game obsession fleet. <laughs> that that bit she's was happy. cool. <laughs> Dude, the fucking scene um, with oh, I can't I don't know the name of the song where they're all bamfing in time to the song. Uh, what was in the opening scene? No, like uh, near the end. Oh, I forgot the name of the song. Well, well. it was like po popping in towards the camera. I have completely forgotten. Yeah, to be honest, the only bit of... Admittedly, the soundtrack wasn't as good as the first one. No, but then again, there's only one song I like on this soundtrack, but because the breakdown at the end is fantastic, and it's The Chain by Fleetwood Mac. Oh, but The Chain's amazing. Yes. Yes, that, but it's the breakdown, it's the end bit, it's when all the lyrics stop and it's just that bass. Do 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 Oh no, she uh, she wasn't. It wasn't uh, Galadriel in Guardians of the Galaxy. No, I thought so. Uh, she is Hela in Thor Ragnarok. Yeah. Oh yeah. Death. Well, I'm she's in Marvel. That. And she is Hela Bass. Ah. Uh, uh, Puns. will you keep it in your trousers for God's sake? Yeah. He's now exposing the other. It's constantly out. <laughs> it's like the nipple. It's always exposed. Exactly. You can see, is it a challenge? I'm gonna use it for an unarmed strike one day. You're gonna throw a badass NPC at us or a badass villain, and I'm gonna beat them to death with my penis. No, what's gonna happen is you gotta go up against a gibbering mouth. I'm up. going to swing my dragon pole. <laughs> Two handed. <laughs> Two handed dragon pole. Ding dong. <laughs> yeah, you do that in the gibbering mouth, and now it's gone. And Trim's just like got her head <laughs> in the arms. <laughs> hey, yeah, Trim's it. got her head in the arms and... <laughs> if my dong's gone, I've got resistance to STDs. That uh, you do. Anyways, 
uh, off all this kind of talk, guys, what did you want to do now? It's the morning, you can hear the birds are tweeting, the sun is creeping in into the hallway because there's no windows for the individual rooms, it's windows into the hallway. Right I here. Thought... I'm going to tell Jin to put it away before, not Jin, I mean, Dora's still to put it away before it gets too dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> What do you want to do, Shinju? I was going to say, didn't we agree last time we were going to head back? Uh, to main town. But it was too late, so we just decided to sleep. Yeah, that's true. We should plan our next course of action. Yeah, so what's your next course of action going to be? how we all rush. I mean... What options do we have in front of us? We can... We know that after the dragon scales. Uh, uh, but I am not sure. I mean, I'll, it would take me time to remember where the other monasteries are. And maybe they don't need all of them. They've probably already just got the one they need. But maybe we should uh, either try and find out more about the Silver Bastions and see if we can take one down and help reduce their numbers. Or we could go and seek out Trim's village and see what the shit snacks is going on there. I mean, if it was me, I would say the Bastion needs sorting out because they're the main once they fall. True, but we're not going to be able to take on all of them simultaneously. No, no, obviously not. But some way of... We need some way of getting close to Lord Cranbrook again. Well, the Bastion is his only line of defence, it seems, apart from his arcane abilities. That, and also finding this N as well. Yeah, well, we weren't very successful this time. Does anyone have the note? Can I have a glance at it? Oh, what happens if this N is actually Cranbrook, but he's just been using a pseudonym? That's possible. Uh, except remember... he'll be writing letters to himself. That, that is also a point. <laughs> you said that he knew we were going to be taking stuff from that cupboard, from that, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, study. And he almost loud, you know, pretty much let us walk out with all that information. I, I, so he could have potentially it, it was planted more, it. Th no, it's the fact that um, all the distractions that Christy was putting in his way, and then all the chaos that picked off afterwards, like everyone suddenly leaving, he was very calm about the whole situation. It's quite probable that's just him as a person. Calm. Clip. Yeah. Evil. Cold and calculating. Mm -hmm. Cold blooded. I think. Uh, I remember seeing in what uh, Mrs. Spoopy McSpoopy Ghost showed me that he was accompanied by a half orc, he says. Yes, it was a half orc in. Dire rags. But very Would skilled I... in martial arts. Very, very skilled. That kind of Would I down. happen to recognise this person? You did, yes. Right, okay. Uh, we did discuss it privately. Off camera and History Facebook track. messages. I mean, I mean, when you say we discussed it privately, it wasn't really that much of a discussion. No, because I couldn't even remember what the information was you sent me. I even scrolled back through our nonsense chat. Yeah, so did I, man. I, was like, I mean, I, I know, I, I know, I know. conversation, but where I can't remember. Dorothy remembers who we are. What well, I mean, did his name, <laughs> does his name begin with an N? Yes, and what he does. <laughs> Um, I think we can try and take out one of the Bastions to see how easily they fall, but that's kind of a really risky move. So I think 
maybe going to Trim's village, cutting off another one of their supply chains would help. But again, it's not. I'm open to suggestions. Yeah, Could we you actually... Guys. Okay, one at a time. Shinju first. I was gonna say, didn't Trim not want us to hang about her village too much because they would be a target with us being there? The thing is, all the people that were in her village have already been booted out into town. Yep. That's part of the issue. Yeah, that's the point. If it's gonna be emptied. I think one of young Trimdolin's problems um, is that she doesn't quite understand that the village is not the buildings, it's the people. Although she does understand that. Yeah, it's also the fact that what was home for her and many people was brought out from under them. That is also true. Yeah, I speak illly. I mean, would... The other thing be that town be any sort of production or or place that would sort of be producing things for these bastion or for not oh, really. Tri- oh. I know, since Tashi's not here, I can for you guys say like Trim's village and home was more like crops and livestock. Yeah, that's what it was. They didn't really produce metals or arms or anything like that. Mm-mm. It was just, like, it's nice, it's always a nice place to live. It was out of we the way, know that it was stressful. He was turning it into a villa, wasn't he? Yep. A he man, was going full room. One. He's going to have it all. He's going to have a nice and lavish bath. A glorious white marble. It's going to look glorious. And then his old place was going to be made into a mine shaft, and he was going to undermine the old bit of Venovia. Which he can legally do, because now the city is his, sort of. So there's that point to consider as well. Mm. Yeah, technically isn't the mayor still. Nope, he was made Lord Mayor at the dinner you guys attended. Yeah. And that was the whole point of the dinner, was like, Yay, I have been made Lord Mayor, come and celebrate with me. He doesn't care, who knows. Because he's Lord Mayor, it's legal. Yep. I also feel like we should talk to this ex-Lord Mayor. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, no one just goes, Oh, hey, I'll just pass on the title to some random dude I've met. He wouldn't be N, would he? I'm not sure. No. Damn, the... do, I, do I remember, is the name of the person of which we discussed and can't remember, was his name beginning with an N? Yes. Okay. No, that's not N. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's going because we've got to go back via town anyway. If we go back via town, speak to the mayor, and then out to Trim's village. I like this. We go in, we beat a dude up, then we go back out. Yep. Or like, you know, we persuade him through love. Through love and beautiful discussion. In womanly ways. That's spirit. <laughs> well, well, I can't like check this image good. in my head of you guys like having this discussion around a table and she's just going through womanly discussion and just bouncing her jugs up and down. No, it's hey, what just about of leaning that? over the table and just literally just resting your boobs on the table. And nothing else. Yeah, I do that a lot. <laughs> Can I find a monk? Yeah, there's the... Apart from myself. <laughs> there's like the eight, I think, also you rescued. Can't remember how many there were. They're, they're milling hey. about. They're trying to get the place back in order. Monk number three. Yes, my brother. And I have a name. What is your name? It's Sun. <laughs> Sun. I like that, actually. Fun fact. It's what Japanese the... for three. It's fair. <laughs> wow, good job. Were there any among your order who had. Could they. Were any, could, blah, 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 hello? Hi. Were there any among your order who could turn invisible? Invisibility? That's. That's an ability that none of us have ever learned or 
have any knowledge of. It's a powerful thing to make oneself invisible to the naked eye. Yes, because downstairs, when we were trying to see, trying to see if there are any more survivors of the pods, we found one pod in the armory room. And when we opened it, there appeared to be nothing in it, but then some invisible entity pushed past us and ran away. And it mm. wasn't a ghost? We're fairly certain. I mean, a ghost doesn't really push over a kobold that hard. Uh, I mean, you did you go into the pods voluntarily? Uh, it's, it's hard to explain, but it's sort of voluntary, sort of not. Think of it like you get the offer of protection and you agree yes or no. And then the right. pods invalid you. He was accepting you as your... I see. Okay, thank you for your time, brother. Not a problem. Is that right back to um, clearing some of the vines and the crap out of the corridors. Okay. It's going to take a while. It's a lot of vines. Yeah. Well, have fun. <laughs> yeah, I walk back to this. Okay. I was wondering if they had technology, just burn it all. We have the technology. Maybe. I Guys, I believe that the invisible person who brushed past us may very well have been N. Is N of this world, or...? Oh, very much so. So he's... We, we don't know if this N is, you know, potentially... You know, well, we're pretty certain that he's not... Or she's not dead. And a corporeal form. Yeah. yeah, yeah, ends a, ends a he, definitely. Ends a he. Look at the handwriting. Um, okay, so we're, we're talking... Nick. Nick Long. Sure. Saint Nick. It's Santa Claus, weren't you aware? Um... Oh, yeah. <laughs> N wouldn't have been the 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 entity that pushed past us. Why? Because he did say that he'd meet us there. And we never no, did. No, N never said he would meet us there. I'm sure he said that he was. No, N said that he was... He w N said he'd gotten the item Cranbrook wanted and was waiting for Cranbrook to get there. We were trying to bust in on the deal. Ah, I see. Rake the schmo over hot coils. I see. Silly Sindhu. It's fine. Do a little pat <laughs> There's a lot of things to get lost. Things do get lost, you know. Okay. So, yeah. So, we should buy a cat for town? Yep. Yep. That was a sound of... That chime was amazingly <laughs> well-timed. <laughs> Quest accepted. Well, I clean. <laughs> return to town for ten gold and a party. No, return to town would be like, oh yeah, here's a break in between your quests. Here's two gold for possible item repair. Although, That's if you're running around with that broken level armor, yes, you're just not doing it right. True, true. Anyway, uh, well, that's, that's what map showing you to. Let's bring you guys back to the Venovia map. Because it's a nice map and we haven't seen it in a while. So you guys are right about here. Chilling it out in the far southwest. Very forested. Yep. How long have we. How long have we even been on this journey? What? To the monastery? Ah, 60 feet. <laughs> no, in total. Oh, what? Since day one? Since sitting out. Yeah, man. Good question. It must have been like a, like a month or so. Closing in on a month, yeah, because you spent like four days amazing about town, like doing some odd jobs, you learning how to do water whip, etc, etc. Yeah, it was about four days, wasn't it? Yeah, plus yeah. also the three days travel time, so that's one week. Then you gotta jump back to 
So it's actually been more two weeks, I think. Two to three weeks, I would say. Yeah. Time, it gets complicated in your head. It's like time travel. And you know it was yourself that did it. You, finding the right pronoun is impossible. Still. Why, why do you want to know that, out of interest? I'm curious now. No, I was just curious, man. Oh, okay. I, I wish you keep a calendar and just keep track of events, but... I'm really sure, but we're lazy. Uh, also means more <laughs> things on my desk, and my desk is as it is for stuff for the weekend. Venovia! Indeed. Onwards! As you guys head back to Venovia, and then the day starts to creep in, the weather starts warming up, it feels like it's summer. The sky's a nice crisp clear blue, there is a nice gentle breeze just to take the edge off. So you're not too hot, but you're not chilled either. Feels good, if there was a beach or something nearby, might be a good day to sunbathe and relax and have a mojito. <laughs> or maybe do, a tequila do sunbathe. I sparkle instead of like get a tan, considering I'm like grey? <laughs> you're grey? How many grey elves? Kind of like, you know, like. Well, grey elves are grey. Kind of. Kind of what, ashy, what aren't I? Not, uh, not, like, not like white, but not grey. <laughs> no, you're not Edward Cullen. <laughs> yeah, and you wouldn't sparkle. It'd just be, oh, I'm a bit warm. I might need some shade. I'm going to burn quite horrifically. Sparkle, sparkle. <sighs> Fuck yeah, sparkle, sparkle. Sparkle. <laughs> Got Real vampires don't sparkle. They burn. Anyway, you guys arrive at the <laughs> south gate to Venovia in all its wondrous, splendorous glory. And as you approach the gate, you are uh, then sort of flanked, if you will. They sort of come out from either side of the gate by oh. two silver bastions. Hooray! Gleaming <laughs> steel armor greets you. It catches the sun a little bit, so it's like, ah, can't look at you, but I can tell you're there. And they have their swords at their side, and they, they haven't got them drawn, but it's within reach. And they ask you very kindly, uh, could you please accompany us? You have been charged with thievery. Thievery? Oh, shit. <laughs> um... How dare you, sir? We are not thieves. We are mere travellers. How dare you? <laughs> I apologise, good how? sir, but unfortunately Lord Mayor Cranbrook has put out a warrant for your arrest. Or those matching your Which description, one? at least. Who? And just to uh, the lot of you. All of you. I look down at Bob. What did you do, you Bob? Suggest and tell them. <laughs> Bob is really. How I far are we away nothing. from? How far are we away from the walls of the city, town? Yeah, you're like just on the outside of town. <laughs> okay. I. I suggest we don't engage. This may play out in our favour. Are you if, sure? It feels like we could potentially get an audience with Cranbrook and it allows us to potentially use that audience to... Yeah, you know, with the information that we've gathered from the Temple. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm just spitballing ideas now. No, I feel you. I understand what you're saying, but... We'll also... I mean, we'll lose the blade, the ring. True. A lot of things. The papers. What kind of crowds are around us? Are we talking high? Um, no, no, there's not a lot of traffic around town at this hour of the day anyway. A lot of people are just sort of waking up and getting, you know, bread and supplies. You haven't had any travellers or anything come through, no one's leaving. What charges... What punishment is intended to be doled out? 
it says. That'll be down to the highest judicial body of the region, which also happens to be the Lord Mayor. Oh, well, we're fucked then. Standard exactly. imperial law, however, dictates that it will be imprisonment or a hefty fine. The choice is Hey yours. guys, how are you feeling? Hey guys, how are you feeling about imprisonment? Oh well, shit. Well, that's just I've... fine. Well, well that... Chris, I didn't hear you. How much is the fine? Hefty. The, the, the fine will be hefty and also decided by the judge at your trial. You happen to be Cranbrook. I turn to Trim. That's a real good she's not here. Hey, how about you use some of that influence you have? What Is that your influence? influence? <laughs> I'm trying my true. best to do Trim's impression, I can't. Um, I walk up to her and pat. I, I kneel down on one knee because she's so tiny, and I um, pat the blade. I'm like, you know, it's just influence. Oh right, the influence. <laughs> that was... And she gives you a wink, and I... oh, no, it's not trim. I was gonna say she sucker punches you, but no, it's not trim. What? Trim isn't Lady Kima. Um. Yeah, okay, then she grabs hold of the blade. She doesn't draw it, she sort of puts her hands behind her back and suggests to the guards that, you know, we, we all go and see Lord Cranbrook at our own convenience. If you would let us enter the city, we will get our affairs in order first and then go see him as soon as decency allows. Now, I just need to make some rolls for these guys, but I don't want you to see. This dumb thing in the nose. Uh, I'll put Whisper to... Oh, actually, choose went rolling. That sounds like a great idea. Uh, nope, you guys can still see that, can't you? Yep. Wah. Minus one. Let's let's try that again. Nope, you guys can still see it, even though it's set to whisper to GM. What the heck? Weird. That is Just really weird. Roll the dice, IRL. Uh, that means I have to reach over and get them. I don't want to. Also, they allow tech. They're all metal, and I've got nothing soft to roll them on. Yeah, but I won't be able to tell what they are. Ah, shit, I know from the way they roll. Oh, that is a seven. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's more just audio wise. It's just cut ka dunk ka It annoys everybody else when I roll them. Even in the box they came in, it's it needs padding. Anyway, um, yeah, they let her pass. And they let all of you pass and say, well, uh, be sure to see Lord Cranbrook within the uh, following 24 hours if possible. And be sure to get oh, your affairs in order as swiftly as decently allows. We shall. Do not worry. Come, friends. <laughs> bah, that's pretty cool, though. Okay. You're all scurry off. Uh, where do you want to go? Uh, I'll bring up the town map for you. Should some of us split? Should Trim uh, and somebody go to... Or Trim and Dorothy will go to the village and me and Jun go to see the mayor? The village Square is quite around a ways away. It's about the same distance as the monastery. Mm -hmm. mm. So it'll take you a few hours um, to get there. Go and see the mayor then, and straight onto the village, or. Well, we should find. Yeah. Okay. Or should we stay in the town? Well, I think we should find the mayor, extract which, what information we can, then go onto the village. Yeah, we'll stick to the plan. I share the plan. Okay, then. Shinju, use your womanly wiles to find the mayor. Sun's out, tits out. <laughs> <laughs> it's fitting considering the weather and the climate and everything else. It is like middle Italy. 
Anyways, uh, you guys go find the man. It takes you about an hour or so. Sort of asking around, seeing who knows where he likes to hang out when he's retired. And you do find him at the Black Shield. All Ooh. rested and comfy. Um, I'll just bring you guys across on your old models. Like so. Because I am a genius. And I want a Lord model. No, I don't want a demon lord. That's that's silly. <laughs> I am the bear! X-Men. Greetings, mortals. Can't you now use any model? Uh, I still need to buy like. I still need to buy the Diggly Dam. It's on my to-do list. It's getting longer. Things keep coming it's in. It's a very long to-do list. It's a ma you don't want to see the actual to-do list. There was a whiteboard oh and then a long strip of A1 paper. It's horrible. And nothing's getting right. cleared. Anyways, you guys enter the inn. It's all... Shit. Uh, oh, it's all hustling, bustling and things like that. You know, you've got people eating their breakfast, some are eating their beer. Eating their beer. Huh? Drinking their beer. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You what know what I mean. The what is beer the is that drinking? thick. It must be Highland Guinness. <laughs> Sorry. What is, is ex-Lord Mayor drinking? And the ex-Lord Mayor is sitting there. He's got a nice little glass of sherry. And he's discussing something with other people around the table. Oh, shit. I feel no, nothing much. Like, just like local folk. Oh, no, yeah. It's, it's, it wasn't like, oh, and now we should take over the world. No, um... Offer them a drink? Shall I do the approach? No. Yep. No, I, I, th I feel like this is Shinju's realm of expertise. Want me to oh. sashay oh, yes, over there? I, I thought, it, obviously, he's drinking sherry. It might need a bit more refined approach. Shinju's the most refined person here! Some which is saying help. something. She is of class, so maybe that might be of a benefit. Jin, Do the secret class as handshake. Jin, you're yeah. about as refined as, yeah. a, as a wooden club. Yeah. Smacky smacky. Yeah. A oh, club could be very well refined though, after all. Mm. Think yeah, of the no, nightstick. Yeah, it might be useful. The modern day nightstick <laughs> is a modern club. That is very, very true. It is, it's a weird design, in my opinion, but it kind of makes sense. Well, the whole point is, like if you can't buy the, the bit that juts out, you can little. use it as a blocking tool. Oh, that makes sense. And it's a lot easier for you to go from there to sort of gripping it by the actual handle because it just twists in your hand then. Silly yeah. little things. I get bored. Shinji, you okay? Yeah, no, my dad just came in to show me something, so... Uh. Here is this cool, amazing thing. Yeah, it was a hole punch. <laughs> really? That was it? Shit, hole punches. <laughs> no, no, it's like, you know, the ones that do, um, like, the rivets kind of thing. So oh, I it does, see. does, like, the little rivets through, through things. That's kind of cool. Okay then, so who is talking to the old Lord Mayor? Did we dis decide on me? Yes. yes. Go. So I sachet over there. Tambourines are banging together. <laughs> Other things jiggling. <laughs> I go get a beer and watch. <laughs> we both get a beer and watch. <laughs> Bro fist. I'd like to sit, uh, yeah, I sit on this table and look not suspicious. <laughs> Bob, meanwhile, yeah. get something from the bar. <laughs> Very <laughs> conspicuous, a big hulking kobold. Oh, not big hulking, but tiny little kobold. I was going to say tiny hulking kobold. <laughs> yes, tiny hulking yeah. kobold, especially with those sets. I still haven't rebalanced them. Okay, then, Jinju, so you... You sachet over to the Lord Mayor, everything jiggling. <laughs> giving quite a show. Quite um. a few of the uh, other male patrons are giving you quite the look. Um, I'm not actually quite sure what to say. 
Well, we should have gone over this. What I was. Gonna oh my god. Say. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Redact this. Redact this. <laughs> right. Should we? Okay. No, no, no. I just start going over there. I get to the table. Open up my mouth and just turn away slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Offer him a drink, and then ask him about why he retired. Slowly. Can I? Can I get you guys a drink at all? And just slide in between them all, uninvited. <laughs> uh, a, so few them, what a few of them take like offence to you dropping in, but your dress and refinement and everything carries you through. Uh, the lawmaker does turn to you and he shakes his tiny little glass and goes, I had another spot of sherry, my dear. It'll go wonderfully. <laughs> another shot of sherry. Another <laughs> shot of sherry. He's a more modern. We created a boat entirely made of banana skins. <laughs> <laughs> Penicillin. <laughs> you don't get that reference, it's from the far show. <laughs> I recognise it from somewhere, I didn't realise it was from the far show. Anyway, yeah. he, he does ask for another <laughs> shot of sherry. Um, shall I sort of motion the barman sort of from where I'm sat and sort of say I think that was his name it's Niles where's Frasier (laughs) 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 oh no it's not that obvious is it (laughs) Maddis leave me alone woman Never got to see one screen, let alone the here in game. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, you motion over to the barkeep and he brings over another fresh glass of sherry. Mr. Lord Mayor takes it and t- says, uh, Cheers to everyone. They all cheers back and he just knocks the entire glass back, not even savouring it. Drops it down. I do the same. <laughs> so, Lord, um, Lord Mayor. I'm, I'm very sad to have seen you gone. I mean, I was only here for a couple of weeks, but it's a lovely village. <laughs> it's a town, my dear. It's a town. It's all down to population size. I know. Well, from where I'm from, you're a lot smaller, so sorry for me for getting slightly muddled. Oh, you're. Well, Sizes. Where are you from, my dear? If you don't well, from down asking. south. From the south? From the capital? Yes. Oh, that's... That must be a terrible turn of events for you to have left the fine refinements of our capital to come here. Oh, oh, well, you know, I've been travelling around trying to make a little bit of money. Um, doing some networking for my father and whatnot. Ah, your father's race a fine daughter. A fine daughter, I might say. He looks at her chest. <laughs> yes. yes. And then that I works. do the leaning over the table thing. A fine <laughs> pair. I mean, daughter. A fine daughter. <laughs> <laughs> no, another sherry. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Now, do be sensible, darling. <laughs> darling, I'm I leaned into a girl. all over you. I want to hold you, darling. I want to give you lovely dirty kisses with my booty moustache. It's all the sunset. Don't be stupid, darling. Stop interrupting. I want to cover you in pepper and steam. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that is the lie, because that's where darling goes. Sir, please don't. What is the matter with you, darling? What is the matter with you, darling? Don't slap, darling. <laughs> I feel like the Cranbrook tribe are like, we're going here today <laughs> to witness to the horrific murder of my snuggly pigeon. <laughs> Is Blackadder in this room? Him. Yes. <laughs> Is Blackadder here? It's him! It's him! Him, the pigeon murderer. <laughs> the Flanders pigeon murderer. We're here today from uh, Charlo, uh, Captain Blackadder, pass, pass, the Flanders black pigeon over. murderer. And I can say without a shadow of doubt that Blackadder is absolutely guilty <laughs> of nothing more 
then <laughs> and fulfilling his duty. Oh, Black Adam, we love you. Please come back. Mm. We do. We love you so much. It's the best Rowan Atkinson thing ever. Oh, there's always Mr. Bean, but of course he does all that without ever saying a word. Yes. I don't like, I don't like Mr. Bean, man. Mr. Anyways, we're getting sidetracked here. Yeah, we're, we're terrible for sidetracking. We are the sidetracked D and D, more relaxed D and D. So yeah, he's sitting there. Well, like, your father's very fine daughter, looking right at the cleavage. Yes, fine. of course. Um, make a perception check for me. Um, do, 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 do. he has a knife. As long as this doesn't turn into fairy tale the other night, where they decided to take the like... women and 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 keep and keep Lucy in a dungeon, Ooh. in a sex dungeon. Oh my! <laughs> it was pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. He is completely gone. Like it's not even so much information can be gathered. It's. You're not quite sure if you'll even recall the right information. Um, and it's wait, you even twelve o'clock yet? Yeah. Sorry, you crackled out a bit. Then what did you say? Said, did you ask him? Did you ask him why he stepped down? Yes, I did, and he never replied. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear that bit of the question. Yeah. Uh, my dear, I stepped down solely to get away from the bureaucracy of everything and he gestures to his the sash that he wears with his robes and everything and this color is just constant agony mistrust and backstabbing bastardry another then why it... waving the sherry what? glass in the air by, and by this point, the people you were talking to have long since, like, awkwardly left. Yeah. Another sherry. Another sherry. Yeah, the bell. Ask him why he chose Cranbrook. Why? Why are you particularly close to Cranbrook? Is he an old friend of yours? Uh, he was once. I suppose you could say apprentice. Sounds like Winston Churchill for a moment. Ah, uh, uh, so he's worked under you. Yes, yes. He wanted to understand how the Empire worked when he was but a small dragonborn. So I taught him what I knew, and from there he went off to the capital, got elected somehow into the Senate, and came back to assist me in my old age he takes another uh, shot of sherry oh, um, a well, fine man thing. dragon thing was it, yeah. I was saying whilst he's doing this how, as he's getting more and more drunk can I try and pickpocket see what he might have in his pockets yep go ahead and make a sleight of hand check with advantage because he's not even aware that people have left He's so so I've got just six on my slighted hand. <laughs> <laughs> well. But even though he's swaying back and forth in his chair and rattling on about Cranbrook and the bureaucracy and everything, he's you go through his pockets, you manage to grab yourself a few gold coins that he has. Uh, more specifically, he has nine gold coins on his pocket. You manage to also pilfer his house keys. And uh, you also have a letter. Which was wax sealed, but is, the seal's broken and been read. Um, I'm going to walk towards Dorothil, and as I do, I'm just going to... Uh, Tap him on the shoulder and say, Good job as mayor. Here, buy yourself a drink using his gold coins. 
Well played, sir. Well played. Oh, thank you. Thank you, young man. Oh, fantastic. Oh, I could buy myself another. In fact, Danger. Oh, he just shouts like a random name. Another bottle of sherry. Bottle of sherry? You, Let's leave the you, you heard the You heard the man. He's going to die of alcohol poisoning. <laughs> How old is this dude? He, yeah, he's uh, old so. by elf standards. He is an elf. Like, full-blooded high oh, elf. He's an elf. Holy shit. If he's old by elven standards, he must be fucking ancient. Jesus I'm, Christ. I'm imagining, like, the, the full man chew kind of beard yeah. and moustache kind of thing going yeah, on. Yeah, elves, elves are very Asian in look, so he's got the, the Fu Manchu look. Um, yeah. If you've seen Kill Bill, you know... Uh, Al, the guy that teaches the five-point exploding heart technique. That's that's the level of epic beardness. I was thinking more. You have like of one the, specifically um, long uh, um, moustache yeah. hair that you can keep you know, curling. Pretty much, a bit of, by this point, yeah, one of the tash hairs has just gone. <laughs> it's a hair. Okay, have we got? Oh, that's well, fine. Oh, I think that's me, me and Dorsal can study the letters. Um, Shinju continues her. Treatment. Well, I mean, do we have all the information we need? I was going to ask him what was it in particular that um, Lord Cranbrook was interested in learning from you. Oh, okay for that, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I asked that. <laughs> um, <laughs> make a charisma check for me. We need this charisma, guys. You have. Hi, Charisma, you're a bard. Charisma's like your thing. And I, well, I'm maxed out, aren't I, on Charisma now? And, uh, uh, without okay. items, yeah. Yes. That's the saving throw. Uh, yeah, you want to click the big box, Charisma. Big box. There you go. There you go. <laughs> that's, Natural that's 20. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, you got plus one from Jack of All Trades as well. Just annihilated the check. Marriage. I was about to say, is she literally motorboating him right now? Fuck <laughs> <laughs> me! Oh, this is fine, fine. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, fine, daughter, fine. Oh, Lord Cranbrook, he just... Before he was a lord, the boy just wanted to understand the Empire, the history of the Dragonborn, why they come to this part of the world for their empire when they used to have a homeland of their own I think he in part like most wants to reclaim it but doesn't know how to go about it so maybe having some titles some influence and some land is a good place to start although being here it's a completely wrong place you need to be on the coast you need to sail there you see it's across the sea no. Yes, oh yes, I've heard of it, of course, from, from my time training as a lady. Ah, through, my, good. through my nanny. <laughs> ah, good, your, your nan was a good woman. Good woman, indeed. Oh, yes. my sherry <laughs> appears to be... Oh, wait. And he puts down one bottle and goes to the bottle that was just brought over. And shakes it, makes a nice sluting sound. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Never allowed to drink in office, now I can catch up. <laughs> well, you're certainly making use of it. Can I, um, tap uh, Jin on the shoulder and point to outside the letter? Yeah. Yeah, I, I get the insinuation and follow. Okay, let's have, okay, we can go outside. So okay. let, um, I look around to see if we're being spoiled on. Make a perception check for me. Make a perception check for you. Yes, make it a perception check, please. Yes, yes, good. We require more minerals. <laughs> Construct additional pylons. Shit! Spawn more overlords. Uh, Everybody's uh, uh, looking uh, very suspicious. You do not feel safe. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Mate, oh, this is a bad idea. We should go back inside. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll do mine as well, just to... Round the back alley, both of you now. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, there's a few people going back and forth, like, through town and whatnot, past the front of the inn. A few people are sort of streaming in as well to get their drink fix for the day. You reckon an alley might be a safer bet for such discussion behind a couple of boxes or whatever? To the alley. Oodle alley, oodle right. alley. Golly, what a day. Let's have a freaking read. <laughs> Shit, reading! <laughs> and with that, we will take our first break. Unless you want to do more stuff, Shinju? Or is that all your questions quite mm. happily answered? I think that's all the questions answered. Fantastic. So, with that, be sure to make sure. To be sure to make sure that doesn't make any sense. Uh, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and all that YouTube jazz. And we'll see you in a bit for part two.